guys good morning happy sunday i hope you guys are having a great weekend um as promised we're gonna make some cards and tags mostly tags because i have a handful of cards and um i think i want to do tags this time so um we're still gonna have you know pretty back and um you know something to write on on the back as well so we're still going to do that. I did want to show you guys, uh, made some alterations to the, um, journal. Oh, also in the last video, I was like, Oh, I need another pin. I'm a ding dong. Uh, Melissa actually made me two of these and I completely forgot because at the time I only had the one bottle here to put the, the swirly thing on. It's not a swirly thing. It's a pin, but I had actually put this pin in here like this one is so i wouldn't lose it and so when i grabbed the tacky glue to move the other pva glue anyway i found the pen and i was like woohoo so i actually don't need another one yay isn't it pretty doesn't she do beautiful work i got these from miss melissa i got these a while back but oh they're so pretty i love them and I like the fact that they're big without being like super bulky, but they're big. So I'm, it's not very easy to lose them. So we're actually not going to use that glue necessarily today, but we are going to use the glue stick. So the alterations that I made, so I made a tie and I actually did a super thin silk ribbon. This isn't actual silk. It's just what it's called. Um, and I kind of weaved it underneath here and put it underneath the flower and then re-glued the, why do I keep calling this a flower? I guess because there's a flower right there. Anyway, I re-glued the heart down and I glued right here down as well. And I glued it all the way to the edge and I did the same thing on the back. Now we will do something on the back here to kind of hide this but it's really not that noticeable, honestly. Um, but we will do something. I'm not sure what, but something. And I left the tie or the tails nice and long because I'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet. Um, and here's our corners. You guys might remember. Uh, I think the cover is like turned out so pretty. I love this. Okay. So, Continuing on, we are going to make some tags. So we have one pocket here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is something as well. So seven, eight, uh, nine, 10. This one's got a lot of pockets too. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 and 18. So we have 18 spaces to fill with tags or whatnot. I love the sound of this. That vellum inside, man. Oh, I just, I love it. Am I just crazy? I just, oh, I love that sound. So we're going to set this aside because we're actually not going to mess with this probably too much today. But we are going to do some collaging. So we're going to take some of our book pages. Um, I'm just going to rip some out and, ugh. and honestly, I don't remember where this book came from. It was one of my, I needed the cover, so I gutted the book, but as you can see, I used the insides of the book as well. Oh, you know what? I actually have bigger paper. Hmm. I have bigger book pages. So that altered book that we did um those pages are a little bit bigger and i have a bunch of them 
So, and we're going to cover them up anyway. So what's on the book doesn't really matter. And I, I think this was a fiction book. This is a Reader's Digest. I think this was a fiction book of like just various stories. So I'm going to put this, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, but um, let's see. We'll just kind of adhere them together and see how we do. Okay. How about that? Okay. Um, got my water here. I made sure to fill up my water this time. I forgot last time. Oh wait, we're going to need that because I have an idea. All right. I'm trying to situate here. All right, so we can actually do the back first, or it doesn't matter, but I have a bunch of these. So, ooh, or let's finish using up that coffee dyed paper, right? We still have a few of those left. And my glue. And remember, it's okay if it's not perfectly all the way to the edge and whatnot because um, we're going to sew around everything. Try to line up these pages here. Okay. So there's one. And right now I'm just connecting, connecting the dots, connecting the, um, the book pages so we can move on to decorating or collaging really. Okay. And whoever came up with this idea, it was just absolute genius. We have no idea who actually came up with the idea. But there are a couple people that have used it, and it's pretty awesome. I think I'm actually going to use the back of this. But yeah, there's a, quite a few people that do this method. Um, I think that it has caught on quite quickly, honestly, and I can't say that I blame it because it is, it's really, really effective. I don't know. My page is getting so long that it's like knocking my coffee stuff off. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Um, let's do a little thinner. And you could also just do regular coffee dyed paper as well. Like I have a lot of that. It's like someone got obsessed with buying all of the coffee dyed paper in the world. But I'm sure someone out there loves me for it. <laughs> oh, so speaking of buying all the paper in the world. So um, that... Uh, that kit that we're using in this journal from um, <clears throat> from Stamperia, uh, Shabby Rose. I actually have used a, ch a good chunk of that paper, so, so I went and bought more. But um, she has a deal on, well, it's not really a deal, it's just how her shop is run. Um, if you spend $75, you get free shipping. So, well, a pad of paper is not $75. So, of course, I had to buy more. So, I've got more paper coming because, well, I can't help it. And besides, um, I am doing more journals now. So, I think that it's not going to be necessarily a bad thing. Um and right now, I think that we have enough, but I am going to go ahead and use up the rest of this coffee dyed paper, I think. So, 
can actually probably get two out of here. And you could also, if you really wanted to, layer them this way. We might do that. We could do that. Like put another couple up here. That'll give us a, a bigger area to, co um, to cover, but it'll give us more playroom, you know. To design stuff. I think I'm going to overlap that little torn spot. Well, not too much. Okay. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> now I've just got paper everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. It's addicting for sure. And it's just, it's so effective. I just love the effectiveness of it. And I mean, look at all of these book pages that we're using up. I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? So we're going to have one heck of a collage piece here. It's going to take up a lot of space. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know which way I want to do this, but let's go this way. And then we can put this kind of on the other pieces. To kind of hold them in place. <laughs> Because that's kind of essentially all I'm doing right now is gluing everything down so it will stay in place. Whee! Grab a page. Oh, or two. That worked out pretty perfect. Okay. So there's that one. And then the last one here is that one. Okay. Now I'm going to add the rest of this. Um, whose idea was this to make this bigger? Oh my gosh. Okay. So the rest of this little. Um, paper here. I'm just going to kind of put as a ceiling, if you will, to keep the pages put together so they're not all bouncing all around. Kind of like a patchwork. this one. Right. Voila. Now we have one very, very large piece of paper. <laughs> so we can put these guys kind of all over the place or we can cover it with the, um, the coffee dyed paper which I actually think I'm going to cover it with coffee dyed paper, um, like patches of it. So let's flip it over and start. Let's move this thing out of the way. So we're done with these. For now. Uh, 
Sorry, I just happened to have copyrighted paper over here, and it caught my eye. It caught my eyeball. Okay, I'm gonna mess with that right now. All right, so we're just gonna start in a corner. We're gonna lay this stuff down. Uh, this is going to be kind of like the background pieces. And same thing as before, we are just collaging. I'm gonna put them in between the four corners there. And you know what I realized by making it this big, I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this thing. <laughs> Cause this isn't gonna fit in my trimmer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hindsight, don't do this. <laughs> uh, if you want bigger pieces, uh, just make sure they're less than 12 by 12. Cause most trimmers are 12 by 12. I mean, you probably can do like industrial size trimmers, but I don't know about you, but I don't have an industrial trimmer. I have just a regular paper crafter trimmer. Okay. So there's that. You know, let's add that to the back side as well. And we're still going to add our coffee dyed paper. So what is wrong with you and why are you doing that? I think something didn't quite line up right. If I had to guess. That's all right, we'll fix it somehow. Not sure how yet, probably once it gets cut, honestly. All right, um, there. Now some of the corners like that aren't going to need anything like this one here. Oh, that works out perfect, there's only one four corner piece left and I have one of these left. All right, let's see. All right, just wanted to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing here. So yeah, hindsight is uh, don't make them quite so big because then you got to figure out how to cut it. All right, so now we're going to start adding these guys. Just some more background pieces. Kind of put them up there in that corner. We could also lay coffee dyed paper here on this side because it would be a good background piece, I think. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> this is so big. I was thinking, oh, this is so much fun. Let's do it. And yeah. Now I'm thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's grab some coffee dye paper. Um, I'm just gonna grab some of Emily's here. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's not Emily's paper, it's mine, but she dyed it. Um, and we're just going to grab a couple of the light sheets here. Slip that back in there. So my goal here is to cover the whole thing before we start adding like decorative elements to the collage. Because I have a couple of ideas on what I want to do. Um, hopefully they're not quite as uh, extravagant as let's make a 50 mile wide and tall piece of paper to 
collage. Um, Here, see y'all can't even see everything I'm doing. Oh, whose idea was this? It's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's okay. Y'all learn from my mistakes. I mean, I am gonna go ahead and collage this whole thing. I have no idea how I'm gonna cut it yet because whew, I didn't do myself any favors with the size of this thing. All right, let's grab this one's got some caricature on it. the top of this. Let's go across the top of that. Here, this is gonna have to fold because for whatever reason I didn't line it up right and it got all wonky which is also something else that doesn't really happen when you just go a straight line with the books or book pages rather But, all better. Okay. Let's see, let's put you, put you right there. All right, I'm gonna grab some decorative pieces again. And by decorative pieces, I just mean the uh, vintage style papers that I have here. Put this one probably there. You probably tilt it too. That'd be fun. Let's do that. I'm sure, it would make covering things up kind of difficult. Because <laughs> ah, I have to make things difficult. I heard a beep. I thought my husband was home. I was like, dang, that's early. It's only 1.30 here. So anyway, how are you guys doing? As you can see, I'm busy, you know, coming up with not so great ideas. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyway, seriously, how are you guys doing? What's up? What's happening? What's new? And these are vintage style papers. These are not like from the, you know, 10s or 20s or 1800s. Um, I will eventually get 
those scanned. Um, I do have intentions on getting them scanned and put, you know, up for digitals and whatnot. But as of now, I have not done that because, you know, it's not on the top of my priority list. <laughs> Eventually, maybe. Eventually, things will slow down and I will be able to just scan and get those up for you guys. All right, and for myself, because I don't use, um, I typically don't use vintage ephemera in, uh, in journals and such, because I don't know about you guys, but it's really expensive and it makes the journals even that much more expensive. And I mean, journals are expensive anyway. So I don't feel like we need to, well, I don't feel like I, I need to add to the price of that much. And that is a personal preference. That is not a judgment on anyone who uses vintage stuff. It is pretty. It's also hard for me to use in the sense of, um, like if I know that it's true, like I bought a journal, I don't know, sometime last year, um, and it's got true vintage stuff in it. And I haven't used it at all because I just, I can't bring myself to, you know, write on something that's 100 years old, 120 years old. It's hard. The struggle is real. I can't do it. Ooh, there's these tag thingies. Let's use a couple of those. Those would be fun. What? Oh, uh, where did I find these? I found these on Etsy. But that's another reason why I want to do the Etsy shares because um, it'll be easier for me to um, tell you guys where I'm buying stuff when I'm buying it versus, you know, like right now I'm using stuff and. I'm like, oh, where did that come from? It's really cool, but I have no idea where I got it. Yeah, type of thing. I do know that it, it's not too, too new in the sense of I didn't just buy, where did the rest of them go? I thought, that, oh, I, when I pulled one out, they all came tumbling out. All right, let's see. I kind of like that as a, as a sealer. Oh my gosh. Meh. I kind of like that as a sealer. Like, to seal the pages. Because it's got little dots in it, and I don't want the little dots to uh, necessarily have words behind them. Although, that would be kind of cool, too, I think. Alright. Um, so... Let's do this side here. Grab my vintage stuff. Bring it on this side. Okay. Grab you. And we're just picking stuff up, gluing, putting it down. Nothing, no rhyme, no reason. Again, don't really think about it. Just put it down somewhere. Because when you cut this, that's the true beauty, I think. Because everything just kind of starts coming together once, once you cut it. And also with doing these kind of um, diagonal lay, uh, pieces laying down, it kind of allows you more freedom with the horizontal versus vertical. And I need more of these guys. Um, because if you're only going in one direction and you need, say, a horizontal piece, it might look a little silly if it's going the wrong direction. So, that's why I'm mixing it up, doing all kinds of different directions. 
Um, I put you over here. Uh, we got a couple of little guys here. This one can go right there. I'm sure a lot of this is probably going to get covered up, but all of these pieces are just background pieces anyway. So we're not super worried about, oh, I really want that to show or whatever. And if you are, then just don't cover up. That's as easy as pie. Grab a couple more of these guys here. Let's do this one. Um, let's see. Oh, there's two of those on there already. Let's do this one. There's two of those too. Do I have two of everything already? I think so, probably. Let's see. Hold that. Yeah, Alright, I think I can use one of those. Um, one of those. And one of those. Okay. That should be enough because any of the smaller gaps we can cover with, um, you know, stuff. with the, the, the stuff from the packs or ephemera or, you know, whatever. Pretty excited to show you guys what I had in mind for this. Of course, I think it's going to have to go into another video because I just looked at the time and we're already at 30 minutes and we're not even done covering this thing yet. Again, the bigger piece Whoever's idea that was, not a great idea. I blame Casper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, seriously, um, if you do want bigger pieces, just use bigger book pages. I think would solve the problem. And honestly, that's what I had done initially, but then I was just like, oh, wouldn't that be great if we did this? And yeah, um, then all of this happened. <laughs> all right, I think I'm going to put this in the corner here. I do need, I think, one more smaller background piece to go in this corner up top. Okay. Oh, you're not supposed to come up. All right. Um, let's see. I can use this one, I think. I think this would be good. It's kind of smaller. Go that way or this way? I think this way would be good, but it leaves that little bit. But that little bit's okay because we can cover that up fairly easily. Okay, so I think that is. Oh, hello. I think that is going to do it for today. Oy. Now, let me know. I have had a lot of people tell me that they like the shorter videos instead of the longer videos. Um, but let me know because right now there's only a handful of you that are watching every single day. And I really would like to cater to those people. Those people that are watching every single day. I really would prefer to uh, cater to you guys because, well, you're here every day, you know? So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and keep around 30, 45 minutes and kind of learn as we go. Okay. So thank you guys so much for joining me on covering the front cover of this um, ginormous piece. And maybe tomorrow I'll zoom the camera out because 
um, trying to negotiate this all over the place is a little crazy. Like, this is really big. This is 18 inches long. This is a half a yard tall. Not long. Tall. It's probably a yard or more. No, it's not more than a yard. It's not quite a yard either. It's just under a yard. Anyway, it's a big piece. So I want to thank you guys for coming along and hanging out with me. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.